so the idea is to use this ssd which is usually used to expand your laptop storage as an external storage device all right so let's build our very first ssd every single day technology is getting better your phones are getting better and the kind of video these phones produce are astonishingly good but at the same time they are super large files also if you have a one terabyte or a two terabyte a laptop or a pc that storage is eventually going to get filled up and you'll have to keep managing your storage every now and then in my case i have a one terabyte m2 max macbook pro and the storage in this got filled up in about six months uh, so i was on the lookout for a good external ssd now an ssd or a solid state drive is a very fast external storage device i've been using something like this which is a samsung t7 ssd two terabyte and this worked flawlessly for me i store all my photos videos and files on this little guy and i also edit all my videos uh, off of this ssd so this has been a trustworthy ssd i bought this for around 10k now the price for these have skyrocketed i think the read and write speeds that these ssds offer is around a thousand megabytes per second the speed is relatively fast on these uh, but since i ran out of storage i thought i'll pick up a four terabyte uh, samsung t9 which i think offers 2000 megabytes per second read and write speeds and i saw the price of that was close to 40000 rupees which is crazy these ssds have become so expensive and there are not much good alternatives to these ssds so i did my bit of research and i came up with a solution which solves all my problems it gives me sufficient storage it is modular i can expand my storage in the future and also the read and write speeds are more than double the speed that you get on the samsung t9 and the best part is that the price of it is almost half of what the samsung t9 costs so let's dive into it so the idea is to use this ssd which is usually used to expand your laptop storage in an external ssd enclosure and to use the entire setup as an external storage device let's see if it works and how fast it works so let's unbox the ssd enclosure i'll be sure to link both these products in the description so in the box you get this metal ssd enclosure and on opening this you'll find an instructions manual screws a very funky and a sporty lanyard a thunderbolt 4 usb-c to usb-c cable and also a heatsink because these ssds they tend to heat up a lot so you need active cooling to manage the heat the ssd enclosure is built up of metal and it's very sturdy so our ssd enclosure is unboxed let us now unbox the nvme storage ssd as you can see here the speed is 4800 megabytes per second so let's unbox this so here is the ssd coming to the assembly i'll walk you through the assembly part and we'll also do a small speed test of this ssd versus the samsung's t7 all right so let's build our very first ssd let's remove the screws first i think you only need one i'm not sure it comes with three of these these are rubber screws and you don't need any screwdrivers for these let's take the enclosure give it a push and it opens right away so to install it you take one of these screws drop it in this slot over here and once the screw is installed all you need to do is take your ssd and slot it in in a 45 degree angle don't push it too much and accordingly you adjust the screw 
lock the SSD in place. You don't have to push it too hard, otherwise you'll damage the connectors. And now what you need to do is to attach this cooling pad first. This is the cooling pad, the thermal pad. Gently place your cooling pad over the SSD and attach the aluminum strip uh, to the heating pad. So by doing that, you have a perfectly installed SSD. The last step is closing the enclosure. So your SSD is ready. This SSD enclosure has got adequate heat vents to keep heat away. Additionally, this is made up of aluminum, which helps in heat dissipation. Now let's give it a try. We'll of course have to plug it in and always use the cable which is provided along with your SSD enclosure. So the first thing that you need to do whenever you buy a new SSD is to always format it to a compatible format. Like if you have a Mac like I do, APFS is the best performing format and that format is going to give you the best possible speeds. But if you are going to use your SSD on both the platforms, which is a Mac and also a PC, it's always recommended to get it formatted to XFAT. So in our case, we'll choose APFS. Uh, let's first speed test the Samsung's T7 SSD. 300, 350 megabytes per second, give or take a few megabytes. Now, when it comes to the write speeds and when it comes to the read speeds, it's about 600, 650 megabytes per second. So that's the kind of speed that I'm getting on the Samsung T7 SSD. Now let's test out the 4TB Crucial SSD. Let's run the test. Oh, look at the write speeds and look at the read speeds. This thing is so fast. And just look at the time it's taking to perform one speed test round. It's taking nearly like five seconds to complete one round which is phenomenal. So as you can see, I've connected both my SSDs, Samsung T7 and also our custom SSD. Let's see how much time it takes to transfer this test file, which is about 5.88 gigabytes on the T7 first, and then we'll do it on our custom SSD. So in three, two and one, The transfer has started and let's see how much time it takes. It took roughly around uh, 11 seconds to transfer this. Uh, let's transfer it to the crucial SSD. So in three, two and one. It was done in two point some seconds. So that difference is super huge. This is going to be rocket fast. So this solution, SSD that we've built, is a perfect upgrade over your older SSDs. And plus, this saves a lot of money as well. I agree that you have to invest in the enclosure, but that investment is going to be like once. And after that, you can keep upgrading your SSDs and you can keep changing your SSDs. There are some enclosures which also support up to two NVMe storage SSDs. So uh, you can choose your enclosure according to your preference, but this enclosure works very well with my setup. And as I said, it's a Thunderbolt 4 enclosure, which is very fast and it works flawlessly with a Mac and also a PC if you formatted it to XFAT. The speeds that you saw in the video were phenomenal. And there's no way I'm buying something like this unless and until it's going to be used with an iPhone for an external recording. In that case, a T7 works perfectly as it's very slim, it's very handy. And the NVMe SSD used in this is the latest 4.0 version and that draws a lot of power. So this won't be able to work on your iPhone. So because the SSD we used in this are the SSDs used in your laptops. And that's the reason why it's super fast. And I hope this solution becomes accessible to more and more people so that you can save up on your cost and also swap storages as per your requirement. So that's it. If you like what you saw today, 
subscribe to Tech Tips Only and share this video with your friends and family so they can save a bucket load of cash. See you in the next one.